Did you know that sharing the link of your replicated website, the name of your network marketing company and the products can actually hurt your business? Well, for so many years, I was told to do exactly that on my personal profile, plastering all over the products in the name of the company, which kind of made sense at the time because I didn't know any better. However, I really didn't like doing it because it made me feel uncomfortable and actually not feeling like I was appealing to my audience. And this salesy approach kind of made my personality and my business suffer. Luckily, I did learn the good way and how to go about it and talk about my business and my products without looking salesy or pushy in any ways. So this is why in this episode number 29, I'm sharing with you the reasons why you don't want to share your link on your social media. So stay tuned. Terry Alexander here from TerryVAlexander.com. I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create faster results in their business so you can do more of what you love with the people that you love. This week, I want to share with you the one thing not to do in your business because it can hurt it massively. This is something that I used to do myself and I realized that first I didn't like doing it because I was really feeling awkward most of the time. Second, it really didn't give me the results that I was expecting. And third, I was actually, you know, losing faith on what I was doing and the fun out of everything that I was involved in towards the end of my first venture in network marketing until I found out the right way to do things. So the one thing not to do in your business because it can hurt it massively is to share your replicated website link, the company name that you're representing and the products all over your Facebook, okay? Or social media, in fact. Have you ever realized how much more engagement you get on posts such as uh, posts for holidays, funny posts, quotes, generic type of posts, but then somehow you get crickets when it comes to posts that is featuring the product or the company that you're representing, right? Isn't that surprising? Isn't that weird in a way? So here are a few reasons why it can hurt your business. The first reason is that it can affect your visibility because of the algorithm. So here we are mostly talking about Facebook platforms, but it's very similar on other platforms where Facebook is very strict on this specifically. Visibility of your posts will be triggered by the algorithm that is in place by default installed by Facebook. The reason behind it, it's because obviously Facebook wants their people, so us, to be remaining on the platform, to spend money on there. And so if they see that you have a post, which even could be amazing, could be really good, it could you know tick all the nice boxes that is needed to be a great, great post. But if you have a link that is taking people watching, looking, reading your post out of the Facebook platform, then Facebook is giving less visibility, less eyeballs on your content just for that reason. Meaning that your great work, your great time that you've spent on creating that post is actually going to trash kind of thing. 
However, here we are specifically talking about personal profile. It's slightly different on business pages because obviously you can pay for ad, uh, some, you can pay for ads, uh, which there you can add your link. But on this particular training blog video today, we are talking about personal profile on Facebook. The second reason why you don't want to share your replicated website link, the name of the company that you're representing and the product on your social media freely just like that, it's because you have no way to track who is actually clicking on it, who, who is interested or not in what you have to offer. And even if they click on your link, even if they're interested about it, there's no way you can know about those people, who is it that is interested unless they are reaching out to you telling you, I want to know a little bit more. That's really difficult to, you know, measure. And so you cannot reach out to people and say, hey, I've seen that you've clicked on my link or you've uh, watched my post, you've looked at it, you've read it. So how can I help you today? You cannot provide the help that you are wanting to provide people with because you have no way to actually track and measure who is viewing and clicking on your link on your post. So essentially, you are losing a lot of opportunity. The third reason is self-research that people are making. Let's just take a moment here and evaluate the normal human instinct in this instance. When you are seeing, you know, a, you know, a post from your friends that is sharing your link of some sorts for a company or something, are you either going and messaging them, messaging them, asking them for further information, or are you using our great friend of the 21st century called Google and start to kind of view for yourself whether you are interested or not? Most people tend to use the latter way of doing research. Instead of communicating with their friends, asking for their feedbacks first, and then maybe do some extra research, they do their research and then if they are interested, they go back to their friends and say, hey, you know, I've seen it, I've watched it, I've done those research, and now I want to, you know, get more from you. Right? Weird, you would say. Weird that people would not first pick up the phone or send a message saying, hey, I've seen you post this, can you give me some more details? Most people would actually do their self-research and then if interested, they will go back to their friends. And once again here, the ick to that is that you have no way to track it. You don't know who is going to do their self-research and what happens is that they might it, they might have the risk to fall onto something which is actually negative about your product and company you are wanting to share with them, which essentially is going to block their interest and they're never going to tell you that they've seen something wrong about it. And the fourth reason, but far from being the least, that's something I've learned very recently, is that it's stuck with you. What I mean by this is whatever company you are representing right now might not be the company you are going to be representing in a few years or maybe even in a few months or in a few weeks, you know? It's like a relationship. You might be in a relationship with a girlfriend, a boyfriend, but that person might not be the person you're going to marry, okay? And that's the same for relationship with companies you're having. I personally had a few experiences with a few companies and I've changed a few times. And that first company I was with, I was plastering it all over my Facebook and social media. And so people associated the name of that company and the product with me, Thierry V. Alexander. They were taking away my personality, they were taking away who I really am and they were seeing me as for the company. Even years later, like literally about seven years later, uh, that I started with that prior company and that was about three years after I left that company, 
when contacting certain people, they were asking me, oh, how is it going for you with this XYZ company? Are you making any progress? Are you, you know, they were asking me how it was going as it was three years since I left that company, which is absolutely insane. And that's just because I've shared the name and the product just like this and people were more aware of that rather than just me and what I represent. Therefore, for this one reason alone, even without the other reasons that I've given you, I would say the best way to go about building your network marketing business or affiliate business is by branding you. By branding yourself, being your personality, finding your true voice and sharing the results that you're getting with your product, sharing the results that you're getting with your business by showing people what, rather than just mentioning the name or sharing the link directly. Make people be interested. Remember, it is very easy to get a label put on us. It, it can take a while before it is taken off your back. So just mind what you're doing, brand yourself and put yourself at the forefront rather than the name of your company, the, the link of your replicated website and the product all over. In conclusion, it is so much more powerful, fun and relatable to brand yourself rather than showcasing the name of the company, the product, and the link of your replicated website all over your social media. You are the brand and you are what people will decide whether they want to buy from you or not. And if they are associating your, you with the company you're representing, then this decision is 90, 95% of the time already made. Now I hear you, you might ask, how can I then talk about my business and products if I cannot share it freely on my social media? How can I attract people to me if, you know, it's something I've got to avoid sharing on my social media? And that makes total sense. I totally understand where you're coming from because I used to feel that way. This is the reason why I've put together a freebie which is called the three steps to business launch or relaunch in case you've never done a launch or you've done one before. That freebie is going to explain you how you can actually share your company uh, products or opportunity without necessarily naming the name of the company or showing the, the actual product name, etc. So if you want to have access to this freebie, which is the three steps to business launch, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent directly to your email box. Essentially, this freebie is going to help you and share with you how to get more engagement on your post, on your videos, on everything that you're sharing on social media without risking to have crickets or people even avoiding you or completely deleting you from their friends list. So again, if you want to have access to this freebie, just click the yellow button below this video and then that will be sent to your email box directly. If you are on my YouTube channel or on any other platforms, you will see a link somewhere either on my bio or on the description section that is going to take you over back to my blog and below this video you're watching, you will see the big yellow button that you can click and that freebie, the three steps to business launch will be sent directly to your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did because each and every week I do put my energy and love for you to be empowered in your own way and get really good value that you can implement in your business immediately. So if you got value, then please feel free to smash the share button, share that with your people, with your teammates, with your friends that are maybe in the industry, with your friends that are uh, doing any sort of business that are online, that are 
you know, representing somebody else's bi uh, business or product, this training can be really useful to them. So feel free to share it. It's completely free. They'll have access to the same freebie, the three steps to business launch, if you are sharing that with them. Question of the week. What help and support do you think you need to take your business to the next level? Share with me in the comment section. I'd love to know how I can support you if possible, what type of training you'd like me to create, and also getting to know what type of products you have so I can tailor the type, the trainings that I'm creating for you each and every week. Thank you very much for tuning in this week, and this training video is a wrap. Bye-bye-bye.